Hi guys, I hope that you are all really well. So I thought I would film a, another pregnancy update for you. Like I said, I'm not going to be doing these every single week just because I don't think much changes week by week. But there has been quite a few changes since my last update, which was when I was 11 weeks. Well, I thought I was 11 weeks. I was actually kind of nearer to 12 weeks so I am now 13 weeks and six days pregnant so I will be 14 weeks tomorrow which for me I just feel like it's really zoomed by now the first three months the first 12 weeks I literally was going so slow and yeah then they like kind of bumped me ahead by like nearly well yeah five whole days and yeah now I just feel like it's going a lot quicker like 14 weeks sounds like quite a lot which is really weird so yeah I guess a lot has changed since my last video one of those changes being what's going on around us in the world at the moment so unless you've been living under a rock you'll know that there is COVID-19 going around um going around as if it's like a sickness bug um yeah it's a big thing pandemic or whatever you want to call it epidemic I don't know what you call it going on in the world and um a couple of days ago they actually announced um, some very confusing information for pregnant people. At first it sounded like they wanted pregnant people to completely self-isolate, um, but now it seems like it's more social distancing. If you choose to self-isolate then even better, but I think it's more just being really sensible about where you're going, who you're seeing. Um, I mean since I've heard it I've pretty much self-isolated because um, I wasn't really sure what to do for the best till I spoke to a midwife. Yeah, I've been doing the school runs. Um, I actually drop Harry in 15 minutes earlier than the other children anyway, so I never have any contact with anybody. I don't even have contact with his teacher because it just goes straight in. So doing the school runs has been okay. And then when I've been picking him up, I don't really talk to that many people anyway. We don't have like a big crowd of us. Um, so, and it's outdoors as well. So I've been doing the school runs and today I'm going to try and get back to a little bit of normality, normality. I'm not very good at staying indoors, it just really affects my mental health and obviously mental health is really important, especially when you're pregnant. Um, I don't want to get myself into feeling really depressed, but I do realise that I can't be going out as much as I was before. I'm a very sociable person, I was having a lot of working brunches, working lunches, I would often take my laptop and go and work in a cafe and I won't be doing any of those things for the foreseeable future. Um, I will be going on lots of walks, I really want to get back into doing some more exercise because I wasn't really doing much anyway because I was feeling so sick and exhausted and yeah, I don't want to be stuck indoors just getting fatter and fatter, eating all the food and just feeling really gross, like feeling really lethargic. So I'm gonna, I've just charged my Fitbit, which I haven't worn since I went to the Himalayas. Um, I've charged it up, ready to get back on it and just know that I'm doing my 15, um, how many is it? 15,000? Yeah, that sounds like a lot. 15,000 steps a day, even if it's just in the house, in the garden or going for a walk. So I'm going on a dog walk with my sister in an hour. We are going to keep our distance, so I'm not going to be like kissing and hugging her like I normally would, uh, hanging about her house too long or anything like that, but I'm just being sensible. I'm not going to cut myself off from every single person because I just think that's not going to work for me right now. If that's what you're choosing to do, then great, but um, at the moment, that's the guidelines. So I'm going to stop talking about that because um, even though I'm pretty sort of much in isolation, I, um, yeah, I'm kind of not at the same time, if that makes sense. I'm just doing what I feel comfortable with and what I feel is like the right thing. And obviously, the second anybody sh is showing a symptom or tells me they have a symptom, then I, of course, won't be going anywhere near them. Or if anyone in my house has a symptom, of course, I will be self-isolating in complete lockdown. So that aside, I'm not going to talk any more about that um, because it's just everywhere, isn't it? And we're all so worried about it and I just don't want to talk about it anymore. Um, so I just thought I'd tell you what's been going on other than that in the last um, couple of weeks. So yes, I went for my scan. The day before my scan, I was a hot mess. <laughs> I had really serious anxiety that day. I was just so... I was so worried, I just had it in my head that they were going to turn around and tell me that there was something wrong with the baby or it just wasn't there anymore or I just convinced myself that something was seriously wrong um, and it's all I could think about all day and I kept it bottled up and then I just let it all out that evening, um, completely panicked and cried and 
yeah, it was just not very nice, but I don't think anything was going to stop me from feeling like that. Then we had the scan first thing the next morning. I'm so glad it was in the morning because I would have probably just felt awful all day. Um, and the scan was amazing. It was just so good. We had a really lovely sonographer. Um, I always remember with Harry, we had a, our sonographer wasn't really that friendly. Um, but this one, she was so nice. She spent a really long time as well and she made sure that we saw every part of the baby. Um, the baby was literally bouncing around all over the place. She said it was really active, so I've got that to look forward to. Um, uh, yeah, it was like putting its hands up and down like this together. Um, it looked like it was putting its hand in its mouth. It was just like so lovely, so real and yeah, I just finally felt so much fear and um, apprehension just kind of like seep out of my body and I for the first proper properly for the first time in this pregnancy I felt absolutely elated um, which is a really really nice feeling obviously. So like I said they bumped me forward um, by five days at this scan which was always quite a nice thing to hear. I had a feeling that they were going to put me back a few days or something uh, but yeah they jumped me forward um so it now means my due date is the 17th of september i'm very dubious with due dates i think having harry two weeks overdue i'm just very like i'm not going to be using that date as my countdown if that makes sense i say that now i probably will but um i'm just preparing to go two weeks over just because that's what i'm used to um but yeah that is my due date so let me know if anyone else is due around the same time it would be really cool to kind of keep in touch with other mums at the same stage so i also had the um i'm not sure what all the tests are called i know one of them's down syndrome test and then there's some other ones as well so i had all of those um i know you don't have to have them all but i chose to have them all and they all came back fine i did get a letter though which um i haven't really looked that much into i don't think it's anything to worry about um and it said that one of the hormones was measuring low um like below average so when i'm 34 weeks they will do a growth scan because it can indicate that the baby's not growing as much as it should be um so hopefully it's nothing to worry about i don't think it is um but yeah we will see i guess so symptoms wise I feel like quite a lot has changed so when I hit 12 weeks bang on I stopped feeling sick which has been uh, amazing. I've had like the odd feeling of feeling a little bit like oh, like my stomach's turning mainly when I'm either cooking chicken, preparing chicken or eating chicken. Um, so I've, I have, I might cut out chicken for a bit just because I'm not really like, yeah I'm just not enjoying it but um that's the kind of, you know, my main protein source, so, um, yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. I will still be making it for the family, so I guess if I fancy it, I'll eat it. Um, but, like, last night we had fajitas, I had, like, two bits of chicken and the rest. I just had vegetables, because it's, I don't know, something about it is just making my stomach turn a little bit. But other than that, I'm, I'm not feeling sick, which is so nice. It's so nice to just not feel nauseous and feel like I need to constantly eat to, like, get rid of the nausea. So I'm making sure that I'm having two biscuits every morning. I'm not really a biscuit eater, which which is really weird I have my favorites I love custard creams um but yeah I'm not really like a massive biscuit eater it's not like a habit I've ever got into um but I'm finding that if I have two biscuits with my decaf tea in the morning then um it kind of guarantees that I'm not going to feel sick during the school run and then I kind of got time to have my breakfast when I get back and then it's all good so that's good I feel like I'm eating a bit less than I was before because when I was feeling really sick I was eating to stop myself feeling sick so it seemed to just help um which must be something to do with science it must be some way of trying to get you to eat more for the baby um but I feel like I'm just kind of eating my normal amount now um I am I guess I'm a little bit hungrier so when I'm hungry I'm really hungry so um like when it gets to lunchtime, I'm just finding myself, I just want something like immediately rather than having to kind of wait for it to cook or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely not eating loads now and I'm eating better foods again as well, which is good. Um, I'm not craving anything in particular, but I'm finding that, and I, I remember this with Harry, I'm finding that, you know, like this morning, for example, I just all of a sudden was like, I want a bacon sandwich. And that's again, not really something I eat much. I'd have it now and again at the weekend but it's not something I you know it's not like a massive favorite of mine but all of a sudden I had 
bacon and mushroom in my head and I was thinking on my way home from the school run, I really hope we've got those ingredients in because obviously I'm not really going to the shops much at the moment. Um, and luckily we have bacon and mushrooms. So we had a bacon and mushroom sandwich and that seemed to satisfy this morning's craving. What else? So my boobs don't hurt anymore. Again, when I hit 12 weeks, they just suddenly stopped hurting, which is so nice. They're actually, it's a lie. They are tender still, but they're not like, you know what I mean if you're pregnant. Literally, they were unbearable. Like, even a top touching them was hurting. Um, but yeah, they feel a lot better now, which is so nice. I've also got so much more energy, which at the moment in like the current thing that's going on at the moment is quite frustrating because I want to be out and about. I want to be like doing things whilst I've got the energy and I'm feeling quite good and um, and not sick anymore. So yeah it's quite frustrating because I'm, I am feeling really good in myself and like mentally apart from like all this bad news and having a few bad days I've felt quite good. So annoying every time I'm filming a video my doorbell rings so sorry if anything's changed because I just had to go and answer the door to the postman who was not allowed to cross my threshold he had to leave the parcels on the floor and then we had to pick them up which I kind of get but he still touched them so whatever we've just washed our hands anyway. So yeah, just a couple more things I was going to say. So I, I'm in a funny stage at the moment where I don't really know how to dress, which sounds really silly. I've got this one pair of maternity jeans that fit me. I've bought another pair, which um, are more like over the bump, but they, are ju they just keep falling down. So that's just a bit silly. And I don't really want to buy like loads because it's going to be like warmer soon. And I'm probably going to be one of wearing like dresses and shorts and stuff. So I don't want to buy like loads of jeans. So I'm living in these black maternity jeans um which I'm kind of growing to hate because I'm just wearing them every day um yeah I don't know I just feel like when you're very early pregnant it's really hard to know how to dress because you just kind of look like a little bit like you've put on a bit of weight on your front um and yeah you haven't really got a defined bump and yeah it's just like kind of hard to dress so I think what I'm gonna do is do some orders online because obviously I'm not going to any shops at the moment do some big maternity orders and then maybe do some hauls on here um let me know if that's something you'd like to see um i've noticed that quite a lot of like the cheaper um online retailers like um boohoo and misguided have just started doing maternity wear so i thought it might be quite fun to order from those to see if it's actually any good um and then i'll probably do like an asos one new look like all of the like normal type maternity stuff um, I know H&M do quite a lot of nice stuff as well, so maybe I will do a haul or a few hauls, um, but like I said, let me know if that's what you want to see. So I'm going to show you my bump now. Um, it's definitely got bigger compared to last time, but although I feel like I film these in the morning and obviously when you're pregnant, your bump's always really small in the morning and then gets bigger during the day, but anyway, I'm going to show you. So this is, this is really hard to do. This is my bump at the moment. Still pretty small, but like I said, it gets bigger during the day. <laughs> Almost 14 week bump. Just looks like I've eaten too much. <laughs> So I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to update you on. I hope that this has been a good video. I feel like all these like, like, like pregnancy um, videos that I thought I would be making are going to be really different now because of what's going on in the world. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be a really weird few weeks coming up, if not a few months. It's very strange the thought that some of my friends I probably won't see now until I'm in my third trimester, which makes me quite sad but you know it is what it is we've got to do what we got to do to protect ourselves as always let me know in the comments below if you're expecting a baby let me know if you're worried about everything that's going on or if you've got any messages of positivity or some tips of what we can all be doing at home to keep healthy and active during pregnancy thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did and i will see you next time bye